Hey guys, so today I'm going to look a little bit at this wok that is a carbon steel wok, 36 centimeters, that's about 14 inch. So this is simple carbon steel, cost between 20, maybe 30 dollars or euro, similar. This is very cheap, that's what you want. And we're going to season it because those you need to season, whereas uh, if you get like uh, stainless steel, you don't need to season it. Uh, and if you get like a cast iron, you also don't need that kind of the same kind of seasoning, but all those are too heavy or they don't work really well on high temperatures. So what everyone uses in professionals or even at home usually is carbon steel. So most people that you have seen that are like a bit professional restaurant and so on will do it on a very, very high, very strong like um, gas burner. And those uh, restaurant burners, uh, you can get something a bit similar like uh, the Rambo that is a high pressure work burner. Uh, but it is only for outside, it's not even allowed in every country. Uh, it's about 30,000 BTU, which is about 10 kilowatts. What you can get instead, that is actually pretty cheap, if you get like, uh, you can get the professional version, but you can get the home version, that's the one that I have here, that's a home, more like a home version. And that's 3.5 kilowatts. So 3.5 kilowatt induction cooker for the wok is actually the same power, if not more than a 10,000 kilowatt burner on the gas. So this is very strong. And we're going to season our brand new wok with this induction cooker. We're going to do it outside because this is a coating here, that's what you want to remove by seasoning it uh, the first time. We're going to heat it very strongly, remove the coating. That smoke is not good. So we're going to do it outside, everything. And after that, we're going to do a second layer, which most people don't do. Uh, they kind of leave it until time so that it becomes black inside. This layer of black is not actually the same black as you have on food black. The layer of black that we're going to create and that is normally remaining after is actually a coating of polymer. So what you want for that, you want a drying oil. One of the best drying oils is, lead, is flaxseed oil, sorry. It's called flaxseed oil. Flaxseed oil is a drying oil it is a food grade oil and it's not linseed. So, alternatively of that, you can get lard or canola oil, but you can get this oil usually quite easily in pharmacies sold as laxative, like you want to get a food grade one. It's not expensive and that will give you a really good coating on it. Okay, now we set outside. So the only thing that I've done is I've put it here, I'm going to turn on the wok it will get really, really hot and it will burn the coating inside it. That coating is a film that is used during uh, production and because it is carbon, once that coating is gone, you need to be a bit careful when you keep it uh, after because it will rust. So you need to keep a little bit of oil and keep it dry. So I turn it on. I hope you will, I try to put the camera as close as possible for you. There you can see it's starting to smoke a tiny bit and it will get that color change. The color will change, it will get uh, to the kind of bluish color. There you see it's getting black. You want that, keep it like that, continue, continue, it will get into a blue. There, you see it's starting to, starting to change a bit color inside the bluish at the bottom. That's what we want. We want that to go everywhere on that, on that layer. Everywhere, burn the layer, kill everything. And if you don't have like something so so strong at home, you can also do it probably on the gas, but like I haven't tried on the gas, honestly. So for a wok, ideally you want to have something that can go really quickly in temperatures, really high, 
that's the way that work, work works the best. For some dishes, at least, you need that. For some of them, you can cook normally, but then you won't exactly get the same kind of flavors for some of uh, the elements. So here I'm moving it around so that it gets heated everywhere. As you can see, like the wind is going in the wrong direction. It's going to me like it's going to... My nose is not really good. And it smells like you know, some kind of plastic. It doesn't smell good. we're doing it outside. Last time I did it, done it with a smaller one. I did it inside, that was a big mistake. So don't do that. You see how the color changes everywhere? Now this is super hot. Like here I'm really pushing, I'm at uh, 3 kilowatt right now. I can even push it a little bit more. 3.5. Make it a bit faster. And I'm going to go like that all around it. I want to get everything. Now that we've done the first part, we're going to do the second part. As you can see, it's looking pretty good. Everything is like a nice bluish color. And we're going to use a little bit of our flaxseed oil. And uh, I'm going, the pan cooled down a little bit. I'm going to rub a very thin layer on it, and then I'm going to heat it. So it goes like that. You heat the oil and the oil, if it is a drying oil, will polymer polymerize, sorry. And that means that it will become some layer of um, a polymer. So basically you will, if uh, people are saying like, don't use soap, whatever, ever. No, you can, you can use soap. You can wash it, you can wash things that are like that and the other materials that you want also like to coat that way for example cast iron is also like wonderful you can do that in the oven it works really really well so here i'm just applying a thin layer if you make it too thick what will happen is that you will have uh, like some kind of dripping parts it will not it will not look nice at all and usually actually when I'm done with it, when I'm done with my work at the end, I just like wash it with some salt or like just rub it. And I also add a little bit of oil like that. The reason is completely different. The reason at the end is simply so that um, it will not uh, rust because it's just carbon steel. It will rust by default if I don't do anything. So don't put it in the dishwasher, you wash it, you dry it, you put some oil. So here is different. So I've put a thin layer, this oil will get smoking hot. It will really be smoking hot, it will be smoking. We want that. And it will change, it will get black. And that will be actually a polymer. Because it's a drying oil. And it's food grade, so don't worry about it. It's not like anything, if you eat a bit, it will like uh, be bad. No, no, this one is fine. Can You can yeah, leave it. We have a pretty nice coating here. So you can see it is very slick here on that part, on the part inside where it's blackened. That part is more sticky everywhere, even the part where we didn't touch anything, of course. But this is sticky, this is pretty slick. So that's what it will help. It will help when we are tossing the food around to get it non-sticky. And just for comparison, this is an older one that I've done. Um, that I used already a little bit, so you can see it's much darker. And this one, like, if you compare. The and it's still pretty new. I mean, both of them, like, I used them a couple of times, but... I think it's like uh, not for years, it's like pretty recent, they're both pretty new. And uh, this has now a, like a nice layer, not sticky, pretty much everywhere. So that's pretty much it. Now, after that, get cooking. Enjoy.